what do you call a jalapeno that decided to be spooky? I'll wait for it. Okay, a ghost pepper. <laughs> Joke of the year. Guys, I'm so pumped because the king to my queen, Burger King, just dropped a ghost pepper whopper. Okay, this is their spooky item of the season. It's apparently spicy. It has an orange bun. Yes, an orange bun with black sesame seeds. Because Mr. King said, this season we are feeding the spooky girlies. It actually sounds very delicious. Like the topping sounds so interesting and so different for a whopper. It has a flame grilled beef patty, spicy queso. Oh my God, yes. Crispy jalapenos, bacon, and ghost pepper cheese. What is ghost pepper cheese? Never heard of her, never got it, never ate it, but it sounds delicious. And it's all on a toasted orange and black sesame seed bun. Wow. They went all out. They didn't just say slap an orange bun on a normal Whopper. No, they changed all the toppings. They made it sound so unique and so different. And I'm so pumped. Now, I don't know if it's actually out everywhere it's supposed to be, but let me tell you, I could not find this Whopper on Uber Eats. I could not even find it on the Burger King ordering app. If you're releasing something, it should be on your app, right? <laughs> it's your app, hello. Um, but I did find it on DoorDash. So I hope this is the correct burger. I hope it was just not like a false listing and they gave me like a normal Whopper. And so because of that, I could not find the original price anywhere. I paid $7.99, okay? That might be the wrong price. That's just the only one I could find. <laughs> Listen, Burger King needs to get better at their um, releases because the last Whopper, what was it? Like a rodeo something or was it rodeo? I don't, I don't know what it was called, but it was some new Whopper. And I went to like three different locations. They didn't have it anywhere. It was a mess. BK, get it together. If you can't handle release days, what can you handle? You're apparently a, a king. How do you treat the people of your kingdom? Anyways, enough of my rant. Let's open this up. Oh, also, I got um, cheesy jalapeno bites as my side, so I'm so pumped about that. I'm excited. So we have the bites. Ooh. Mmm. They smell so fried and jalapeno -y. Okay, I'm kind of worried because this is a very normal Whopper wrapper. There's no special theme to it. Please make a crack sandwich. I'm so scared. I'm not looking. Is it correct, guys? Is it orange? <laughs> yes! oh, oh, I'm so excited. Wow, it's really pretty. Wow. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that, guys, the orange bun. Oh my word. This is a sight to behold. Oh, let's open it. Oh my gosh. So, um, those are apparently crispy jalapenos, but they look kind of like pickles to me, right? They have like crinkles. Jalapenos <laughs> don't typically have crinkles, but we'll just go with it. And then I see the um, queso, <gasps> the ghost pepper cheese. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so orange. Wow. Okay. And the bacon, I am so hyped. I'm so impressed by the aesthetic. They went all out. First things first though, guys, I have to thank everyone that gave me super thanks on my last couple videos. You guys are so generous and so sweet and I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much to Kaylee Burke, Stacy L, Michelle, and Jose. Jose is my dad's name, by the way. And Sash JKMJ. Thank you guys so much. I love you so much. Also guys, subscribe to my channel to me take out for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. I keep you up to date on new fast food items. This came out today. I'm posting it today. Like, hello. If you want to know about all the new fast food news, follow me. Or if you're just hungry. Also, I have a new shirt. Do you like it? It's kind of like tighter on the top and then a bit more baggy here. So it's just perfect. I feel very like muscle bro, even though I have no muscles. <laughs> oh, quick. Thumbnail and then we'll start feasting. I'm so nervous. Okay, go eat. Let's first try the jalapeno cheese bites, whatever they're called. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. So if you haven't had these, they're not like a mozzarella stick or anything like that. It's more just like a liquid jalapeno queso in a breading shell. 
You got me. Very cheesy. Salty. A tiny bit spicy, but barely. Mm-hmm. Iconic. Iconic. Okay. Um, I'm not going to rate these because I've had them before. Mm-hmm. I'm sweating so bad, guys. I'm like so hyped. <laughs> Let's try the ghost pepper whopper. Now the bun does feel a bit less fluffy than usual. It feels a bit more firm. It might be the food coloring. Who knows? <laughs> but let's try it, guys. I'm nervous. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's some spice in there, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh, it's, actually, it's actually spicy. Listen, you might be thinking, Timmy, it's called ghost pepper, okay? It's gonna be spicy. A lot of fast food places like to call things spicy or like flaming hot or ghost pepper and they're not actually spicy this is spicy mm. i don't know if it's coming from the ghost pepper cheese oh, excuse me Oh, that's a spooky stuck piece of food. I don't know if it's because of the ghost pepper cheese or the queso. I think that they did give me fried pickles by accident. So with the jalapenos, it might be even spicier. But the fried pickles taste great on it, so I'm not complaining. Um, okay. Okay. Mm. No. It's the perfect amount of spicy. Sometimes things can be too spicy and you can't enjoy them, but for me at least, this is a nice, pleasant amount of real spiciness. Um, but I do have a high tolerance for spicy food, so this might be not super spicy to me, but to you, this might be like crazy spicy. So just, you know. I would say, if you don't like spicy food, stay away from us, 100%. Mmm, the queso. Mmm. Let me pause, okay? So, ooh. I know the Diet Coke doesn't help spicy food, but I don't care. I'm gonna drink some. Yes, queen! Spooky spicy! Oh! Oh, that made it worse. Let's get into it. The bun tastes the same, which is a good thing. The bun should taste simple, normal. It just looks different, which is very nice. I just love the aesthetic, just fantastic. Now, the beef also tastes the exact same, which is perfect. It's their classic Whopper flame broiled patty. So good. Now, the toppings are so different. So fantastic. So I do think that the spice is coming from that ghost pepper cheese. I have never had cheese that is this spicy in my life. It's legitimately spicy. It adds spice to the whole burger, even though it's just such a thin layer which is crazy to me, that is amazing. The queso, guys, the queso really is so creamy. It tastes like, not like gas station queso, but not like restaurant queso either. It's like in between. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like those like glass jars of like salsa con queso um, at the store by like Tostino's and all that stuff. Or is it, to is it Tostino's? Or is Tostino's the pizza roll? That's Totino's. Anyways, <laughs> the queso is great. It has a lot of flavor. It's salty, it's creamy, it's fantastic. The fried pickles are very crispy. They add such a nice 
different texture that I love, but of course, it's supposed to come with crispy jalapenos. So let me know if yours does and how those are. But the fried pickles go great on this. Mmm. Everything works. The smokiness from the beef patty, the spiciness from the cheese, the creaminess and the flavor from the queso, the crispiness from the jalapenos, it all works so well together. And it almost tastes like a, like a nacho themed burger, if that makes sense. I just love it. Now, does it taste as fresh as the typical Whopper? No, because that has like lettuce, tomato, all that stuff. So it definitely has a very different vibe, not a refreshing one. And I can't stop saying it, but once again, I'm just so impressed by the spice level. I think it's a really good amount. So I'm gonna give the Ghost Pepper Whopper a nice nine out of 10. It is fantastic. Fantastic, I'm so pleasantly surprised. Burger King ate that, they did that guys. So let me know in the comments below, do you plan on trying BK's new Ghost Pepper Whopper? If you do, tell me all your thoughts and can you handle the spiciness? Tell me that too. That's it, subscribe to my channel. Can we stick out for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests? I'll see you next video. I'll do so much. Ooh, boo, boo.